What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Best Mountain Farm. And today, I decided it's the day. So, we got our peacocks. Some people had asked, all right, sorry, it's fixing the gate there. Some people had asked uh, <coughs> the peacocks at the Best Mountain uh, Homestead, the Best Family Homestead, did end up getting captured. Uh, Angie was somehow able to wrangle them. And one thing with peacocks is you can't turn them immediately out into a new environment. Um, they'll wander off. Uh, you want to keep them for a few months confined. And so they have been in the coop area here for about six, eight weeks now. And his tail's starting to come in. So it's time for him, they need a little extra room. It's time for them to get turned out. So that's what we are going to do. And because of the ge geography that the, of how the farm is located here, I don't think they're gonna wander real far if they do decide to wander, which peacocks just kind of are peacocks. They do their own thing. But seeing how we set, you know, in this little bowl, there's plenty of room. I'm pretty sure that they'll probably end up roosting in one of the poles up in that barn or uh, in one of the trees down through there. And with uh, the peacocks, you don't have to worry too much about predators at night because they roost way up high, way up high. That's why you can't catch them. <coughs> so the chickens think they're about to get fed. Sorry, mamas. It's not time yet. Hey, ladies. So we're going to open the door and see if the peacocks are interested in trying to make their way out into their new home. Hey guys, pretty birds, pretty birds. Well, the peacocks are, or the chickens are quickly coming in here to make sure there's no food. Well, let's see what happens. Mama chickens. Hey. Chickens. Here. Here, chickens. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, 
Well, you can see she's clearly the more adventurous of the two. But I'm surprised he's not following her around. <clears throat> Chickens, get out of there. Chickens. Chickens, let's go. Chickens, let's go. Let's go. Come on, out of here. It's okay, pretty bird. It's okay. It's okay. Pretty bird. It's okay. Chickens, go. It's okay, pretty bird. Pretty bird. There we go. Yeah, show them chickens who's boss. Go find your lady. Oh, there we go. They haven't made noise since they've been inside. Only once or twice, so now they're honking like they should. All right, well, they're out and exploring, so we will keep an eye on them. And uh, with any luck, she will lay eggs this year. She's three this year, and uh, peacocks become fertile. Well, they start laying eggs around two, but they are viable eggs at three. So hopefully she will be able to lay some eggs, and then we will put up something protective around uh, around her eggs, find out where she's laying, and hopefully hatch some pea chicks. We can only hope. All right, everybody. So a few minutes ago, I heard our male peacock, well, actually it was about an hour or two ago, I heard the sound they make when they uh, fly up in the tree. They kind of hoo -hoo -hoo, like hoot and holler, I can't make it, uh, and go, you hear their wings flat and I heard one of them uh, so I wanted to come down here and check and see what was going on in the hen house or the peacock house and this is what I found so our pea hen she is in here as well as uh, one random chicken but of course the female is a smart one but it is a good thing because uh, that means she didn't go somewhere else to roost. And I know the male's close. I heard him go up on a roof or something. I'm not sure where he went. Uh, but I heard him go up and she came to roost in the same spot that she did last night with the door open. Which means she's imprinted on this area. So odds are, unless just something takes her fancy, uh, she's going to stick around here. I'm not going to have to worry about them wandering anywhere. Um, and with her being here he's not going to go far unless he hears more female peacocks somewhere and i've never seen any in the valley um he's not going to leave her so a little bit surprised he did tonight but probably just a new area uh i'd say after tomorrow he'll never be especially with mating season coming on he'll never be really far away from her so what's he doing mama what's he doing i don't think she appreciates being in here with the random chicken uh, but this chicken seems very content being in here. And Mama Peacock seems 
really just fine without the male peacock. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe uh maybe the peacock that's on the peahen and the peahen puts the peacock in the doghouse. Could be why he's not in here. Well, maybe I kicked him out of the doghouse. Not sure how that works. Anyway, she's fluffing up at me. She's ready for me to get out of here. So that's what we'll do. And uh, get it all locked up there. And I'll show you guys another funny sight at night. Uh, <laughs> this is actually quite comical. So right here, you've got the other hen house. And you can see they are quite enjoying themselves. And you see George the rooster right up there in the center, just enjoying life. Hi, George. There's one thing I can promise you is that none of these uh, chickens are cold. It gets warm in there. But they, uh, they all look pretty happy. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share for more chicken, peacock, and other crazy bird antics here on the mountain farm. Y'all have a good night.